Okay, YouTubers, anybody that knows me knows that I am a jack of all trades. And today, well, guess what we're doing? We're painting the peak of the roof here. And uh, don't worry, I got a nice ledge here to stand on. But I wanted to show you something here. I've been having trouble buying decent paint. This side here, the white you see, this is this paint here. It's called G I L D D E N, Gilden High Endurance Plus. Grab and go, you get it at Walmart, and it is semi gloss and it is white. And it's pre mixed color, it says excellent hide and adhesion, and it's you know, exterior and all that. This stuff here, I mean, that stuff goes on great. Now, that's great. Now, I did buy some paint earlier, thinking, well, at Lowe's, you know, I'll buy some paint and save a little money. This stuff here that I bought, <laughs> called Storm Coat. Aspire or something like that. Exterior paint. It says great for hiding and all that, you know, coloring. So I wanted to show you the difference here. So I've got my paintbrush here. Got most of the paint out of it. And I'll tell you what, they don't make thick paintbrushes like this anymore. And this one's just about done. If anybody knows where I can still buy these, let me know. This is probably a half inch thick, and this thing really works well. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the other paint there, and we're going to match them up here. And I'm going to show you the difference. Even though this looks like it's got good collaring into it <laughs> think again look at that see the difference this would probably take three or four coats to match it up with that that is just crazy so if you're ever going to be buying any paint the summer outside this is probably okay if you want to do a white coat or cover up some more white but if you really want some thick stuff this stuff here i have no problem with it it's about forty dollars a can it's kind of expensive I think I paid almost $35 for this, and I expected this to be a lot more thick with the pigment and the color and everything. Here's coat number two. And of course, you got to let it dry a little bit, but look at the difference between the two. You can't even tell that I even painted that side. So just a little FYI, if you want to spend a little extra money, well, not even that much more money, you get some really good paint. Get this stuff here I'm just about done I don't have a whole lot more to do went on pretty fast but I guess maybe you could use this put this down first then take something like that and go over top of this to help it out a little bit but I was really surprised just how the difference is in between the two look at that there's two coats of course, it's not quite dry yet. Let's just put a little bit more on it and see if it makes any difference here. It's about 90 out here. Just, well, you tell me what you think. What would you use, that or that? No, what my answer is, we're sticking with that. So, there you go, guys. Jack of all trades, signing off. Be careful if you're coming up with any ladders or painting on your house. Heck, if you're old enough, just hire some young guys. Let them do it, the professionals. But anyway, there you go. There's my review. One and a half coats. Finally here, it took five coats of that to actually get it to match up. Five coats. So which would you want to do? Work five times or work maybe one and a half times? And now all this painting for about two hours and scraping paid off. How nice does that look? Just gotta do the underside. So, I love it. Looks a lot better. Some good paint there, guys. Walmart, 40 bucks.